Hi, welcome to another exciting episode of another video game playthrough here on Zago Comet. Uh, I know it's kind of been a while, but here we are yet again checking out a relatively new game release. Today we're going to be looking at Shrine 2. I honestly know nothing about this game. I saw the trailers a while back and thought the concept looks pretty cool where you're controlling different classes I guess and manipulating the environment so that you kind of get make your way through puzzle type levels or something you could say. So let's jump right into this game and see what we can figure out. Okay, so we got your single player, multiplayer, achievement, settings, uh, subtitle is on, awesome, visual settings, UI, yep, what, that's great, when in doubt, max it out, turn down our audio, wait here, Wait here. Controls. Okay, so movement is your typical WSD. You got spacebar for jump, E for use. Okay, use one, two, three to switch between the classes I was mentioning before the wizard, the thief, and the knight. Enters the chat, you can push the top on your mic, okay. And we can use keyboard and mouse, or we can use our controller, that is awesome. It's always good to have options, but I think we'll be using the keyboard for this playthrough, since we're usually accustomed to using a controller. Let's switch it up a little, try something different. Ooh, but then I'm not gonna get the controller back with me. Ah, screw it. Oh, that was interesting. It actually says multiple keywords and mice, so I'm guessing you could have multiple keywords and mice plugged in, and you can have friends use one of the different classes that you have to control. Okay, so that's enough for the missing out of settings. Let's jump into the single player, see what we got going on here. Combat difficulty, medium is the recommended setting for new players. Easy as fewer enemy encounters. Hard is for game veterans who so are more form level combat. Let's go with medium. These settings can be changed during the game. Awesome. Puzzle hint delay. Characters offer discrete tips on how to solve difficult puzzles. Okay, so I'm guessing depending on if you're stuck on a puzzle it takes whether it's two minutes or five minutes before you get a uh, auto-generated hint from the AI. So let's go with two minutes since we're just playing through for the first time. Uh, so yeah. That, that, that. Start game. Once upon a time, there were three valiant heroes chosen by a magical artifact called the Trine. You may have heard another tale of how they met. Let me tell you a story of their latest adventure. Something mysterious and magical was taking place in the forest. Okay, so... First of the three heroes was Amadeus, a wizard. Not perhaps the bravest or the most powerful, but he was clever and sensible. Then there was Pontius the Knight, fearless protector of the realm, who loved good food, drink, and battle. Here's a pot there. Last but not least was Zoya, a thief. Uh, an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. <laughs> she was mysterious and only seen as a passing shadow on a cloudy night. Entrepreneur, eh? So I guess you got a little introduction to the characters we'll be using. Why Amadeus the wizard was asleep in his cottage. It was a place where he could study his fireball spell, hidden from the scornful eye of his wife. What's going on? Ah, 
turn it off. I'm sleeping here. What is it? Who's there? So one of the main things that drew me to this game was, as you can see, the graphics. It's really very pretty. And then the second thing that drew me to this game was the combat system. Where, like I said, you try and get through levels. Kind of solving puzzles along the way. Okay, so let's go here. Whoa. Let's go find out what that light was. That How was very up. strange. There's a jump you can face bar W. Okay. I can already see the problems this is gonna cause. Oh. That's cool. I can already see the problems this is gonna cause where it may be a better choice to actually play the keyboard. The was blocked. I mean But this wouldn't stop the great wizard Amadeus. With his magic he could lift objects. Okay, so now we know what I can do. I can lift objects. What I was saying is, I can see where this is going to be a problem. Where it's like, if your keyboard doesn't support multiple inputs, it's going to be hard for you to do some of this stuff in the game. Right, multiple. Whoa, I'm levitating shit. Okay, now that I have levitation this, what do I do? I guess we move it out of the way. Yes! What I missed one of those thingy my bodies up top. I want it. Oh, it's a swingy thing. It's a swing. Damn it! How do I get up there? I need that. Amadeus could also conjure boxes out of thin air. Now they can. Okay, we are so trying to over here because I'm a bit of a whore for item collection. Or collecting. Oh wait, but even if I created this. It's thin air, there's nothing for the box to stand on for me to jump on it. It's a screw that shit. So let's put this back here. Come on. There we go. Nope, can't get up there. Alright, so we push this over here. Come on. Ah, damn it. Oh wait, I can just levitate it. So stupid. There we go. Hey, you silly, stupid white light. The light moved through the forest, leading Amadeus further. Torn between fear and wonder, he followed. Oh, so you can only create one box at a time. Okay. That's like a seesaw. Good done. Damn it! I tried to jump, but my stupid keyword only takes two inputs at a time, so I, I couldn't press jump up and forward. That's what I was talking about before when I was saying keyword only accepts certain inputs. Yes. We're almost there. Oh god, ah, and I jumped the hell off. Why would I do that? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be playing this game over with a controller. Keyword, unless you have a good keyword, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I can tell you that from now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, there we go. Run! 
Thank you, Jesus. Okay, what do you got here now? I demand to know what's happening. I demand to know what's trying. happening. Not this again. <gasps> what the fuck? Pontius! Hamadeus, get your things! We need to save the kingdom! What? Oh, this won't do at all, Pontius. I've children waiting for me to come home. I can't leave. But your magics are needed. The kingdom is in danger. <sighs> Will this nightmare ever be over? Despite his reluctance, Amadeus knew that the heroes were needed once more. How did you end up here? Let me tell you. <laughs> 